1896, the first power generation plant was set up in Marina, Lagos by the Public Works Department of the Colonial Government. It was a 60 kilowatt plant, which is equivalent to the 75 kVA generator commonly used in offices today. The plant was primarily used for street and government residence lighting. By 1909, the capacity of the plant had increased to 120 kilowatts, making it more than enough to service the demand, which was only 65 kilowatts at the time. Between 1928 and 1939, more power plants were set up in Potakot, Kaduna, Enugu, Meduguri, Yola, Zaria, Wari, and Calabar. In 1950, the Electricity Corporation of Nigeria, ECN, took over the electricity supply from the electric arm of the power works department. Their major goal was to extend electricity access to the masses who were willing and able to pay for the service. A major milestone was hit in 1962, as the Niger Dam's authority was established to harness the potential of hydropower in the country. This heralded the construction of the Kainji Dam, and with the commissioning of the transmission grid in 1966, the government was able to provide power to more regions nationwide. Two years after the Civil War, the Niger Dam's Authority and the Electricity Corporation of Nigeria were merged to form the National Electric Power Authority, popularly known as NEPA. This led to the massive rollout of power supply infrastructure in the country and a system where supply matched the relatively low demand. However, by the mid-80s, there was rapid urbanization of cities and a hike in rural urban migration, which impacted power supply as the state-owned NEPA was unable to meet the increasing demand of electricity. By the 1990s, electricity was on a decline, which was characterized by the government's inability to maintain and upgrade existing infrastructure with the significant increase in population and economic activities. After several years of military rule, the newly elected Obasanjo-led government sought to rehabilitate the decayed power sector. The government's strategy was to hand over management of power supply companies to the private sector, which was expected to attract investments to revamp the sector. <laughs> 